Now my ultimate steak sandwich starts off with thick, juicy ribeye. All right, so we're gonna take the steak, all right, just like this, and we're gonna slice it. All right, think about like a sushi chef, right? We're gonna take a very, very sharp knife, and we're gonna slice the steak almost sashimi style. And you want to cut the slices, all right? I mean, really as thin as you can possibly get it, probably you know, a quarter inch. The idea is to let the steak melt together, and a thin slice is definitely gonna give you that. So we're gonna cut the steak, and then we're gonna stack it up, almost like shingles. All right, now, it's really important when you cut the steak to make sure you overlap it with just enough steak that when we pound it, it's gonna fuse together, and it's gonna look like one solid piece. So let's take a look at this. Now what we're looking for is, you know, steak that will cover a, a beautiful hoagie roll like this. So what we're gonna do is take the edges of the steak and we're just gonna roll it in on top of each other, all right, just like this. And then take the other side and kind of fold it as well. Then we're gonna pound it one more time and we're gonna have a perfect shape for a steak sandwich. All right, cool, so we can take that same piece of plastic right on top of the whole thing. We're gonna give it a couple more pounds, all right. Now we're gonna season it right before it goes on the grill. At this point, we're gonna take a knife, cut it just like that, take these two pieces of plastic. All right, we stack them right on top of each other, one right on the other, all right, and we are good to go. Quick little wash up. All right, perfect, we throw it right in the fridge and keep it nice and cold, um, just like this. And we have got our steak together for the ultimate steak sandwich. One, two, like that. All prepared, ready to go. Good boy, Scott. All right, you're gonna throw this in just like that. So what we're gonna make right now is the bechamel, which is basically like a milk gravy. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the butter, we're gonna cut it in half, and we're gonna drop, it's like a half a stick in. So we've got about a quarter cup of butter, and we're gonna have this equal parts flour, which is about kind of three big tablespoons here. One, two, just enough, you know, so it looks like wet sand. Like a, we're gonna make this with whole milk. Let's start to melt around a little bit. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch gears from a wooden spoon to a wire whisk. And you wanna whisk as you put the milk in pretty vigorously. Then we're just gonna whisk in the whole milk. And we're gonna add about two cups of milk to this. The gruyere is gonna melt perfectly into this. Now, if you want to mix up the cheeses or you can't find Gruyere, you can use anything. You Swiss cheese, blue cheese, Parmesan, cheddar, a mixture of a few different cheeses if you want to. Probably a cup and a half or two cups of grated Gruyere cheese. It's going to melt instantaneously. Just give that a stir. All right, the Gruyere sauce looks fantastic. It's going to have a beautiful flavor of the beef. Let's take a look at our hoagies. All right, they're kind of hot. See how it's starting to toast on the inside? They look beautiful. A couple more minutes, they're gonna be nice and golden brown. And right now, we are putting a little bit of horseradish into a Gruyere cheese sauce. Then we season up a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we dump probably a cup and a half or two cups of grated Gruyere cheese. And again, you can add any kind of cheese you want. And then to throw it off with a little kick, all right, we add about a tablespoon of prepared horseradish, the same stuff that you add for your Bloody Mary. So I know you got some in the fridge. And I'm just gonna give it a little taste. That looks beautiful. Mmm. That's sensational. That just screams out for a steak sandwich right there. And what we're gonna do is take the plastic off. This is how it goes down in Philly, right? Right on the griddle. Got two, just like that. All right, a little bit of salt, some fresh cracked pepper and some olive oil. And we're cooking for probably five minutes on one side because you want a really great crust. And they're gonna flip the whole thing over and they're gonna stay nice and juicy because it's ribeye, it's really fantastic. What we have here is some arugula dressing, some arugula mayonnaise, a little bit of mayo, all right, some fresh arugula, and a little bit of lemon juice, some extra virgin olive oil, some salt and pepper. And we're just gonna smear one good layer right on the bottom. And then we're gonna hit that flavor home one more time. We got some fresh arugula that we're just gonna put onto the bread here. Again, so it's like, it's green, it's crisp, it's fresh. It's not just steak and cheese, it also has a, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of character to it. A little fancy, you know? 
And honestly, if you don't have arugula, you can just chop up some lettuce and put it around the bottom anyway, just to get some nice little snap. So you also get some temperature difference as well, you know, because the steak is hot, the greens are cool, it's gonna be really delicious. Okay, so what we're gonna do, guys, check this out. My favorite scene. Okay, we're gonna take the steak, flip it over for a second. Look at that, nice and caramelized. This is how it happens in Philly. One, two, three. Ready to take it off. Drop it on like that, isn't that beautiful? Look at that, oh, man. It's crispy, it's delicious, and each steak sandwich is really half of a big, thick ribeye steak. Look at that, awesome, right? And it's sliced so thin, it's so tender, and when you bite into it, the steak just kind of falls apart in your mouth. It's really good. Now take a look at this cheese sauce. That is phenomenal. Wow. Oh, not a dry eye in the house, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Gruyere cheese sauce, fresh arugula. Then we're gonna take the sandwiches with the hoagie on a hinge. Right, we're gonna flip them over just like that. All right, we're gonna cut them in half. We're gonna stack it up on our plate. We made a really beautiful fresh coleslaw to go with the whole thing. Take a look at that. All right, I just like to present the sandwiches just like that. And you gotta get a little, little bit of sauce on your chin. Mm. Wow, flavors are phenomenal.